So I've been watching these videos where someone's playing a harp or a guitar and the instrument strings are producing these mesmerizing waves. So I wanted to see if I could reproduce the effect and add it to my bag of tricks. Now one guy filmed it with his iPhone, so I figured my several hundred dollar DSLR could do the same thing, right? So I set up my camera, I set up my guitar, I pressed record, strummed the string, and... Nothing. It looked true to life, there was no waves of any kind in the strings. Okay, so I thought maybe I didn't strum it hard enough. So I strum it again even harder. Result? A sore finger, an irritated neighbor at my out of tune guitar, and no waves. So it's time to put on my thinking cap and employ the scientific method. Or well, just trial and error. So next I tried a faster frame rate, thinking maybe I just had to slow it down in post to get those waves. Okay, then maybe a faster shutter speed. Getting a little better. Okay, so if it wasn't a faster frame rate, maybe it was a slower frame rate. Okay, I got it. It's a slower frame rate and a faster shutter speed to get the waves. So if you're curious and you want to know if the waves of the string are the actual motion paths of the string, or if you want to know why exactly we need a slower frame rate and a faster shutter speed in order to get these waves, then I'll have the link in a few seconds. But thanks for watching and happy shooting!